Joyce and welcome to Gypsy Felting. So I'm going to take you through the kind of wonderful world of fiber here. I'm surrounded by really, really cool things. I have many different types of fiber. This is um, some Icelandic wool that would be good on a project. There is alpaca. Alpacas look like little llamas, but they have really soft, soft fiber. And we have, of course, wool. This is from a Border Luster, and they are known for their locks and their curls. We also have some more exotic things like bunny fur. This is some Angora, and it's called Angora if it's from a bunny, and it's called mohair if it's from a goat. So this happens to come from one of my own little bunnies, Finn. And this is mohair. This is some beautiful dyed mohair, and this is from a goat, an Angora goat, which where you can see the confusion with the Angora bunny but very different fiber. So you can use lots of these fibers to create many different projects. There's also some more processed fiber that you might be used to seeing, like this is a plain white wool in a roving, which is a long strip, or sometimes called a sliver. There's also this bat, which uh, is just kind of a more bigger and whiter kind of thing. It's a little bit messed up, but that's okay. And we have different kinds of locks. These are some more locks. I use a lot of different kind of what I call wild fibers when I'm creating different creatures and things. So these are just some of the kind of my palette for creating. So here's some of the projects that I've created using my kind of wild and crazy fibers. First I have um, a hedgehog. He, I like to call him Harold the hedgehog, but he is made out of let me see, I'm taking a second to remember what kind of fiber this is. This is a beautiful border luster wool. It's in a fantastic color. Like this is an, actually the natural color of the sheep. It kind of shades from this beautiful gray blue into this kind of sun bleached cream color. And then he is covered with actually yak fur. So it's really, really soft and fine. And then this little hedgehog right here, she is covered with border luster also and it's really silky and fine and so very, very soft. And then I like to call these little guys little Bigfoots or Yetis. See if they're white, they're a Yeti, so like a snowman. And these are also in kind of natural colors. And then I have my little owls. And these have mohair, they have Icelandic locks, there's some bunny fur in the belly, and they just have all kinds of different textures and fibers on them. Um, finally, I have one of my gnome homes. And this one is covered with some beautiful mohair in fall colors, and then it's got all kinds of little windows and doors and things to explore. So these are just a few of the projects that I've created, and you can come up with your creative projects too. So if you're out looking for different fibers to use in your projects, one of the places to get them is the wonderful world of the internet. Um, really, there's so many different places that you can find on Etsy, through eBay. Uh, one of, uh, I'm lucky enough that I can talk to local ranchers and shepherds or I connect the, with them through the internet. And I have uh, processed a lot of the fleeces and things myself, so you can also check out my Etsy store. But uh, one of the places you could do locally is to find your local yarn shop or fiber store because it is a growing trend so you might find more of the supplies than you think you would. Um, also uh, another good internet source is livingfelt.com. They have stuff that's especially geared for needle felting so be sure to check them out too. Thank you. Thanks for watching Gypsy Felting. If you have any questions please uh, enter them in the comments below. And don't forget to follow along for more adventures in needle felting, subscribe to this channel, and visit my Etsy store for supplies and kits for the projects featured here. Thank you.